Alright. Cosine, 7 pi over 6. What do we got? I like negative square root 3 over 2. Cosecant, negative 13 pi over 4. Cosecant. Square root of 2. Cosecant is what? 1 over sine, right? So this is really, we're talking, right, isn't it? Yeah, so we're really talking this is 1 over the sine of 3 pi over 4, correct? Yes. I already accidentally changed the sine. Then you just have to change your sign because, yeah. yeah. Okay? Exactly. So that's going to be 1 over root 2 over 2. So that's going to be 2 divided by the square root of 2 which is the square root of 2. Yes, ma'am? How do I get 3 pi over 4? Okay, so 2 pi gets me all the way around the circle, right? Okay, so I could either count backwards 13 over 4 pi, or 13 pi over 4, okay? Or I could add 8 pi over 4, because 8 pi over 4 is 2 pi, right? Okay, so then I get negative 5 pi over 4, right? And if I add another 8 pi over 4, because I can go around a second time, right? And then I can get 3 pi over 4, okay? Okay, either way, or if you did it one time, right, and then just went back 5, and then only counted back 5, in the fourths, that would, that would work too. Okay. Find theta given the restrictions. Tangent is equal to negative 1 between pi over, so it looks like the left half. Where is tangent equal to negative 1? I would have to say that that would be at theta equals 3 pi over 4. Secant of theta. What's secant again? One over cosine. So that would be the cosine of theta would be equal to three over two square roots of three. Right? We flip it. Okay. So if I rationalize that denominator, square root of three over the square root of three, that gives me three square roots of three over 6, which is the square root of 3 over 2. So where between pi and 2 pi is the cosine equal to the square root of 3 over 2? 11 pi over 6. Questions on those four. Today we're going to move into angles of elevation and angles of depression and word type problems and shadow type problems and ladders leading up against a building type problems. Okay? Now, the nice thing is, is all of our stuff is not in Italy at the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Okay? All right? Okay. Right? So everything is going to be at a right angle. Okay? Our buildings are straight up and down. Okay? So if we're leaning against them, trees are weren't blown over in the storm, and so they're straight up and down, etc. Okay? Right? So an angle of elevation.
is from the ground up to something. Okay. Elevation, elevate, you're going up. It's from the ground up or from somewhere up to a point. Okay. Angle of depression is a little bit different. That is, so you're on high somewhere and you're looking down at something. So we'll call this the ground. We'll call this the ground make it the same. Okay. The angle of depression then is if you were going straight, okay, so if you're looking straight out at the horizon, the angle of depression is down from that horizontal. Technically, yes, because of alternate interior angles, yes, it would also be this angle in here, too. Okay? But it's not automatically, you know what I mean? Yeah. When you're setting up the problem, you got to set it up and then adjust to it. Okay? The other thing is that if you make your triangle look like this, then these two angles up here in that corner are complementary. Remember, they make a corner complementary, which means they add to these 90 degrees. Okay? So just know that. Okay? With me? All right. Let's try some. So I think um, back side is where we're on. The side with the work 4.2 work practice problems, the side with the 7. <clears throat> The side with the seven things. Not the easiest way to decide not with the chart. There's a chart on one side and there's just straight word problems. We're on the straight word problem side. Okay? So, at a point, this is number one, at a point, 10 meters from the base of the tree, the angle of elevation of its top is 58 degrees, zero minutes. Find the height of the tree, and then we said that the height of the tree is 16 meters. Okay? All right? So, I, me, this guy, big fan of pictures, okay? Now your picture doesn't have to be anything more elaborate than a right triangle, okay? That's all it's got to be, okay? It doesn't have, but if you want to draw me a wonderful looking tree, Feel free to draw me a wonderful looking tree. Okay? All right? So, at a point 10 meters from the base of the tree, the angle of elevation to its top is 58 degrees, zero minutes. We want to find the height. <clears throat> of the tree. Okay. Again, we are assuming that there wasn't a storm and it didn't the tree didn't blow over in the wind last <coughs> night. Okay. So we're assuming that the tree is still vertical. Alright? So what do you think we could use to find the height of said tree? But we could use tangent. Okay. So the tangent of 58 degrees, 0 minutes, is equal to what? What? H over 10? I used H, so that's okay. You can use X. You could use any letter there. Okay. How are we going to solve that for H? 
Okay? Not yet. Multiply both sides by 10. So h is going to equal 10 tangent of 58 degrees, 0 minutes. Right? Now then, now we can go to the calculator. Okay? Now, again, make sure that you know what your calculator is in. Okay? If you're using the basic um, TI-30X, Two S's, okay? That's what that's this kind that everybody seems to have, okay? Make sure you're in degree. If you're using the Inspire, make sure that you know. Now it's going to take me a couple of seconds for this to pop up here, but make sure that you know how to put it in degrees if you're not in degrees, because like mine automatically goes to radians. But there's a way, and I'll show you here in a second. Once it, you know, loads. Calculator. Okay. So I want to go 10 times the tangent, we said, of 58 degrees. Now, degrees is in this pi, this pi key down here. There is my degree symbol. So no matter what is my calculator is in, it's going to find the degrees there. And then we wanted zero minutes, and the minute one is right there too. I would double tap it, or double, do that twice to get seconds, if it were a seconds type problem. Okay? So, I get 16.0033. So the tree is 16.0 meters high. On Fridays, actually not Fridays because you wouldn't have to do it until Monday. On Monday's test, I believe that they are all rounded to the tens in terms of your answers. Okay? Questions on that one? Yes, ma'am. So the answer is in parentheses, the answers? Mm -hmm. Skip down to number five. And do number five. So we've got a plane flying. So we've got a plane flying. Closest point that so that plane is actually flying at six hundred and ten meters. Closest point a pilot can see over their nose called the cockpit cutoff angle is I should move my triangle out a little further. Move my triangle out a little further. So that's a 15 degree angle of depression. So that angle is actually here at 15 degrees, zero minutes, which means that this angle down here would also be 15 degrees, zero minutes, which means that this angle here would be 75 degrees and zero minutes, okay. whichever way you want. We want to know what the distance is directly from the plane to this point. So which distance am I looking for? Along the ground or the hypotenuse? Which one am I looking for? 
I'm looking for the hypotenuse because it's directly from the plane. The plane is up here to this point on the ground. Okay? So that to me really depends on what you want to use. Okay? So I'm going to go with cosine of 75 degrees. That's a bad 75. Try that again. That's going to equal 610 over x. So x here is going to equal 610 divided by the cosine of 75 degrees, 0 minutes. So that's going to be is 610 divided by the cosine, oops, that's only 10, that should be 610, divided by the cosine of 75 degrees, 0 minutes. 2356.86. Two, Three five six point eight six. So we would I would call that two thousand three hundred and fifty six point nine meters. Yes, ma'am. Try number seven. Let's get the picture set up. So here's you on top of a hill, right? So There's the scenario, right? Except you've got now here two angles of depression. So the first angle of depression is going to be this one, and that's going to be 42 degrees 27 minutes, which would also be 42 degrees 27 minutes down there. The second one is going to be here, and that one is 53 degrees, 29 minutes, which would also be 53, bad 53, 53 degrees, 29 minutes. Okay. So if you wanted to, you could really break this out into two separate triangles. Okay? But either way, you need to find... Oh, let me go purple. And so you need to find this side right here. Right? And then you would need to find... that side right there, and what are you going to do with those two distances? Subtract them, because that gives you the width of the river. Okay. So let's first look at that one. Oops, how far up were we standing? Were we standing 27 meters up? Yep. degrees 29 minutes there so there's my small triangle so that to me would be a tangent correct
seven divided by the tangent of fifty three degrees twenty nine. Right, fifty three twenty nine minutes. But doesn't that include like all calculating the degree minutes and pushing the degree? Minutes? No, on there's a degree minute seconds p on your. Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. So nineteen point nine nine one. Then we got to go to our other triangle. Again, this is 27, but this is now 42 degrees. Oops, I should have put this in. <clears throat> 42 degrees, 27 minutes. And that's why. Again, that's a tangent. Tangent of 42 degrees, 27 minutes is equal to 27 over y. So y here is equal to 27 divided by the tangent of 42 degrees, 27 minutes. Twenty-seven divided by the tangent of what do we say? Forty-two degrees. Forty-seven degrees. Twenty-seven minutes. That's what I thought. So that gets me twenty-nine point five one seven. Did I say that was twenty nine point five one seven? So then I have to subtract those two. Come on now, twenty seven minus. 19 gets me 9.5259. Point. This is kind of rude when you're packing up and I'm still talking. But what do I know? So that's going to be 9.5 meters is my width of the river. Okay.